Hi, this is Julia Bowen with the Anglophile Channel. Today we're here to celebrate Stephen Schwartz with an evening of wicked fun here at the Wallace Annenberg. Now, I'm so excited to meet some Broadway stars here tonight. I can't wait. Check it out. This night, it must be so exciting for you. What does this honor mean to you? It's for a cause that I really believe in, for, for a, an organization I really believe in. So it's an honor for me to be able to use the whatever celebrity and attention that I've gained to, um, to find a way to give to, to the Wallace Annenberg. How has Steven Schwartz inspired you? Steven has inspired us uh, since before uh, we met him through his songs, his work that was so formative for us in, in uh, loving and learning about musical theater writing. And then the actual man, the human being, uh, became a mentor of ours and has shown up at previews of our shows, given us fantastic advice, and really uh, altered the course of not only our writing, but our songwriting uh, careers as well. Well, we go back a very, very long way. Uh, I had the great luck and honor to play Pippin in the original production of Pippin. Stephen and I became good friends mostly through the love of a wonderful singer-songwriter named Laura Nero. So what we did is we sat down at a piano together and we played four hands all of our Laura Nero songs and that, that sort of cemented our relationship and that was before we started rehearsals. From 1972 when you weren't born I did Godspell with him in Canada and then in 2013 um, did Pippin on Broadway and I think in between that I did what was known as the magic show but I did it in Canada before it was uh, became the magic show. I hope I'm right about that. Well I was a fan of Stephen Schwartz's ever since I was a kid in high school. His music just spoke to me uh, and then many 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 years later I was working on a book uh, to adapt it into a, initially into a film uh, it was called Wicked, and Stephen came to me and said, hey, I know you're working on Wicked. Did you ever think of turning into a musical? And of course, that was a brilliant idea, and that was a journey he and I began together almost 20 years ago now. So it's been a quite a, a wonderful and exciting journey we've had together. Who did you look up to when you started it out? There were a lot of writers that I was uh, influenced by, but I think the person that was most influential on me and with whom I got to work when I was very young was Leonard Bernstein. And I learned so much from him about music, about art, about life. Um, so I, he was the closest I had to a mentor. I have known Stephen for many years. Uh, we have worked together in concert. We, we have toured around the country and around the world together. Uh, I've sung on some of his movies. I flew in from New York this afternoon uh, to be here to uh, celebrate him. He's an amazing uh, composer, an amazing human being, and I'm just so happy to be a part of this. How excited are you to be here with all these artists and Stephen Schwartz? I mean, I'm geeking out. The young, the young theater nerd in me is just like, yes! And I'm so excited to be here with celebrating Andrea Martin as well and, and getting to hear her and support her. So I'm super, super happy. And not only are we here for Stephen Schwartz, but we're here to promote arts education. How important do you think it is integrating arts into schools? It's the most important. Even if you're not going to be an artist uh, growing up, if, even if it's not your profession, there are so many uh, things about work ethic and teamwork that, uh, that you can learn um, uh, while you're developing the arts. What advice do you have for young aspiring artists? Really try to not compromise who you are and to understand and believe that what it is that might make you very unique is really what will set you apart in a wonderful way. And so you have to be patient and learn to celebrate that. I just talked to Idina Menzel and she was the original Elphaba if you are not a musical theater nerd like me. Um, I'm an opera singer, but I have to say, singing some of his musicals has really um, allowed me to, I guess, express myself in, in more than just one way as a singer, you know. Um, I think what I love the most about his music, though, is that it really does come from the heart. Not just, of course, what he composes, but the lyrics as well. So um, I'm, I'm just really honored to be here this evening, and I hope I sing the song Lucky, his aria, from um, Seance on a Wet Afternoon. I, I pray and hope that I do it justice. How important do you think it is to integrate arts into schools? I think it's enormously important. 
Um, and, and I think we are foolish in this society to be cutting back on the arts. There are so many studies that show how beneficial arts education is to the development of kids, whether they go into the arts or not, to the development of an empathetic society. Um, I, I feel it's extremely short-sighted uh, in this country that we, we're cutting back on it, and that's why organizations like the Wallace Annenberg, who step in to fill some of that gap, are so significant. It's what I'm doing here tonight. This has been Julia Bullen with the Anglophile Channel. See you next time. I've been asking everyone here what their favorite Stephen Schwartz musical is. What would you say is your favorite? You, you don't expect me to answer that, do you? You know better than that. Like, Good try, though. <laughs>